Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I am very well. Thank you, teacher, for asking you. Good, I'm doing okay. Thank you. Thanks. How was your day? My day was very busy, very tired, but I am happy. Thanks, Dad. Good, good. Do you have a Christmas vacation? Yeah, the next Friday, teacher. Good, good. How many days do you get? Two, two weeks. Two weeks, that's good. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> I waited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We waited and we deserve it. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> I need it too. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So do you have plans for, for a vacation? Yes, uh, in the church, um, there are many activities and I going to apoyar. Support. To support, sorry, thank you. Uh -huh. and, and then I going to my family uh, to cook for uh, some friends. I, I love cook. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Do you have a specialty? No. Uh, a, a, any food. Good, good. Uh -huh. no, normally, I I see that tutorial in YouTube. Uh -huh. And I, I prepare, pre prepare, prepare, prepare. Prepare, I prepare. I prepare the, the, the recipe. Okay, uh -huh. good. Or the recipe, uh -huh. Good, good, nice. Who else cooks in your house? In my house, I cook uh, chicken in, in, in sauce. Uh -huh. Chicken uh, relleno. <laughs> yeah, stuffed chicken. A stuffed chicken. In, in, other, in other time, maybe tamales. <laughs> okay. Good. Or lasagna, maybe. Okay, good. Are you, are you the only person that cooks in your house? Yes, uh, I live only with my son, and then I prepare the, the dishes. Uh, okay. Alone. How old is your son? So, sorry? How old is your son? My son, my son has 11. Um, and half years old. Okay, your son is 11 and a half. Okay. He's 11 and a half. Good, good. All right, nice. Mario. Hi, good evening. How are you, Mario? Uh, very good. And how are you, Francisco? Hi, Irene. We're doing only, good. Only we we two are here in, 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 in the class. I, I guess so. Why? I guess that, what happened? that I guess that people are uh, waiting for Christmas already, and they're making plans. <laughs> yeah, but the plans start the next week. Exactly. And exactly. we finish the English class uh, the next week, right? Yes, um, we finish uh, on Wednesday. You know, supposedly. Wednesday. We're, yeah, we're supposed to finish on Thursday, but uh -huh. tomorrow. Um, we have classes, but that I know that you guys have plans and everything. So we oh, have classes yeah. tomorrow. So we make up for the coming uh, Thursday. And the reason is that um, next Thursday, uh, it's uh, I have a, a, a Christmas event. So I asked for a substitution, but they say, uh, they thought that it was better if we just move the date so I can finish the course with you guys but i will give you more information when everybody's here uh okay yeah yeah me too teacher okay you too what irene uh, i i have my prima dinner when next thursday. oh next thursday next th yeah uh -huh. okay yeah 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 so you know like christmas dinners they only happen uh once a year and it's and usually it's the only time that people have 
to spend time uh, with the coworkers, you know, like outside office hours. So uh, it's going to be next Thursday. So how do you say reponer in English or compensar? Replace. Replace is... Um, Reemplazar. Uh -huh. Yeah, like reemplazar. Makeup. Make up. So we need to we need to make up for for um, next Thursday, and that's the reason why we would have classes tomorrow. But I understand uh, that uh, that some of you guys have plans for Fridays already. So we'll, yeah. we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Okay. Anyways, welcome back. What is today's date? Is December 12th, 2020. 12th, you sure? Yes, 12th. December 10th. 10th. Ah, yeah, December 10th. I read uh, al revés the, the date. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. If, if, your, if your computer is programmed in, in, in English, then you will uh, say December. <laughs> no, you will say it. Uh, no, it, it will be like. 10, 12. <laughs> yeah, it would say October 12th, right? October if you 12th, were in yeah. English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So 12 represents December. Okay, yes. so today is the 10th. All right, welcome back. Um, what did we talk about yesterday? <sighs> we talked about the transportation, the public transportation. Uh huh. Yeah, we yes. we was it transportation? No, we spoke about your first time. Ah, uh, the first yeah, the time, first yes. Time. <laughs> yeah, the first time you had a car, the first time you won money, the first time you had a job, first time for, for, for different scenarios, yes. And uh, we also had a listening activity. So remember, it doesn't matter if you're taking the paper-based TOEFL exam, or if you're taking the internet-based uh, test, you will always have listening exercises, always. always. So that's why we're doing uh, listening every day. Any questions or comments? No? No. Okay, no, all right, so let's begin. Um, let's see, where's the agenda? So remember that I was telling you yesterday that uh, when you're doing the speaking section, they give you a particular scenario. And they said, uh, they, they give you a, they put you in a situation where you need to give a response. Give me a second and they give you 15 seconds. No, yeah, they give you 15 seconds, I think, or 45 seconds. Let, let me let me um, refresh my memory. But they give in a specific period of time for you to prepare your answer. And um, I think they give you 45 seconds to, to answer that question. That particular question. Let me give you an example. Loading, loading, loading. Mm -hmm. Let's see this here. Okay. Second, it's loading. And 
Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, so do you see this here? Some research? C can you see this information? Yes. Yes. Okay, so listen carefully. This is exactly what you will see in the exam. One, please listen carefully. Some research has indicated that pets are important for a person's mental health. Do you agree or disagree? Explain your point of view. Include details and examples to support your explanation. You may begin to prepare your response after the beep. So, uh, Remember, there are two types of TOEFL exam. The paper-based, you are not allowed um, to take notes. You're not allowed to have pen and papers, anything. Now, when you're taking the TOEFL IBT, since you have to give up, you have to evaluate your speaking section as well, this is exactly what you will encounter. So they give you a particular um, scenario like, some research has indicated that pets are important for a person's mental health. That's the scenario. Do you agree or do you disagree? So it doesn't matter if you are for or against this particular situation, you have to explain your point of view. So if you agree, you explain why you agree. If you don't agree, you have to explain what's the reason you don't agree. Include details and examples. So when you're doing the, the speaking section, they give you 45 seconds to uh, to explain your answer. And you have to be uh, very exact on what they're asking you. Do you agree or do you disagree? Explain your point of view, that's number two, and give details and examples for your explanation. So those four things are also evaluated. If you leave any of those four aspects outside, then your grade is going to be, um, is not going to be as good. Any questions? No. No? So what would you say to this answer? Imagine this is in the exam. So uh, pets are important for a person's mental health. So you have 15 seconds to prepare your answer. Okay, this is what I'm going to say. Obviously, you're not going to write every single word. You will write uh, bullets. Just when you're recording your voice, you use those bullets as, as reference. What will you say for this uh, particular situation? What would you say? Do you agree or do you disagree? I agree. In my case, I'm, I, I agree too. Okay. Now, uh, why do you agree? Let's go step by step. Why do you agree? Because I love animals. Okay. I love dogs. So since since I love them, I think I need I need my I need my my dog because I love him. Okay. I love her. Okay. All right. So you know when you're saying, well, I love animals. You know, I have a pet. I have a dog. I love her. Those are details. And then you can give examples. Um, when you give examples, you can say, well, you know, I remember a time when I was a little kid, I broke my arm and my parents, they had to go to work. So the only company that I had during the day was my dog. So my dog was really helpful in my recovery process. So there you have uh, the 45 seconds uh, that they ask you for uh, um, to give a complete answer about that. Any questions? No, teacher. Okay, so once again, they give you a scenario. They ask you if you agree or if you disagree. You have to explain your point of view. You have to explain why the reasons that you mentioned, and you have to give um, details and examples. Any questions? No. Okay, so let's make a pause and go to the speaking section. We're gonna talk about something that I think everybody loves 
uh, doing. It's very slow. That one should do it. Okay, can you see the questions? Can you see the questions? Yes. Yes. Yes, I can. Okay, so here I will send them to you. So you guys have access to them. Topic is traveling. What was the last time you traveled for pleasure? Last year. Last year? Yes. Okay. Anybody else? When was the last time you traveled? The last year too. Last year too. Okay. So let me. Yes, <laughs> okay. All right. Do you guys do any internal or domestic traveling? Domestic traveling? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but with the, with the car, <laughs> with the car, with the bus, yes. Okay. All right. So let me assign you to work in pairs and answer those questions. to see how they live, what they eat. Mm -hmm. That's the that's reason that, uh, why I like to travel. I like traveling. Yes, you increase your knowledge about the culture. It's very yes, interesting. Yes. I insist you need to save a, a significant um, amount of money. Yes. Most of the time. That's you, spend, <laughs> you spend a lot of money when you're traveling. When you're traveling, mm -hmm. you spend a lot. Yes, that's why you do. You, well, in my case, I don't use to travel. I, I only travel when my work. Uh, oh, you oh, pay almost all my gastos. Okay, but that's nice because mm -hmm. when I travel, it's because I am paying for everything. So if the mm -hmm. company pays you, pays you, it's tax. Yes, nice. expenses. But it's it's usually I I have to work or or training, but but on the weekend. Yes. I love it. Definitely. Me too. <laughs> okay. Number two. What is travel for you? Uh, travel for me means no other other place. Um, feel happy. And only feel happy. <laughs> 
Okay. Yes, is uh, is no it's no uh, pl beautiful places. Yes. And enjoy the life. <laughs> enjoy the life. Yes. And near, far. I don't know. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. Okay. Um what different kinds of traveling are there? What different kinds? Kinds of traveling are there? Mm, I think um, are there um, kind of travel kind of traveling for business. Oh yeah. Um, family. Yes. Um, uh, and the other only I don't know what is yes and you tell me and you fly to another country other country that does was very cheaper from this uh, conversion to the US to the local currency is in Colombia Mexico and Argentina they have a very very cheap for and the prices. yes for the currency only for the currency because if you fly into argentina is is very expensive the, the flight ticket is too expensive but if more you than are, to travel to usa i think yes yes the us uh, uh, all the north america uh, like uh, canada or united states is too expensive uh, because the life in that country was wow no, so you need to get a, a visa yeah and you need the visa travel. yeah you need the visa to travel to united states and in canada too but yeah maybe you you can you can go or you can uh go to uh to nicaragua is is cheaper it could be a really good try mm -hmm. maybe in the future yeah Maybe when you have time too. And the situation changed. Yeah. I don't know Nicaragua in these times uh, how it was to travel to Nicaragua yeah. because I I heard from the the pandemic that Nicaragua they didn't uh, control the, the situation very well. So I don't know how many yeah persons they they think they they can be infected for the COVID-19 but or or I don't know yeah in my mm -hmm. case Miami I yeah. love Miami and mm -hmm. Switzerland Switzerland uh, yes maybe it's beautiful in, in, when did, did you go to Switzerland in 2018 two years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you go for pleasure, Julia? Or work? Yeah. No, no, no. It was pleasure because uh, I don't know how to say la ma madrina of my, of my mom. Yeah, your godmother. Yeah, my, your mom's godmother. Exactly. Um, she lives there. Okay. So I found a nice offer to go there like Every ticket cost uh, uh, 550 two dollars every every ticket. So mm. it was yeah, it was, was very cheap. Exactly, it was very cheap traveling via Panama after Panama, Paris, and after Paris to Switzerland. We arrived uh, to a city called the the, the name of uh, uh, Zurich. Mm. We arrived to Zurich. <laughs> And uh, yeah, wasn't we we stayed there twelve days. Okay. Then mm -hmm. after Zurich, we went to Basilea. After Basilea, we went uh, the south of uh, Switzerland, Zermatt. Beautiful place, but too expensive. Okay, and did Everything you go with your mom? Expensive. Yeah, just my mom and I. Okay, good, good. Yeah, but. It's, it's extremely, extremely expensive. It's something like if you go a little restaurant, not the big thing. Uh, if you want to eat, uh, for example, pasta and uh, soda, 
was was around like 35 francos. The francos is the, the local uh, currency. Currency. Yeah. currency, but it it's equal at uh, the euro. They okay. are the same. Oh. Yeah, but it's too expensive. Yeah. Too much. So I was, I came back like, like um, scared. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, but beautiful places, teacher. You don't have an idea. Beautiful yeah, places. Yeah, I, I imagine. I have seen pictures of some parts of Europe, and, and the and the places are amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been in Spain, in uh, Portugal, but there's, you cannot compare with Switzerland. It's like other level, you, right. you cannot compare. No, there's no comparison. Okay. It's not fair. Mm -hmm. Good, good. I, I really want to come back. Sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah, and I really your, want to come and back. And your mom's godmother, she's still there? Yeah, she's still there. But she's an old lady. She's like 91 years old. Is she from here? Is she from El Salvador? Exactly. She's from here and she's married with a Switzerland man. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. But, but she's an old lady, so. Yeah, okay. very old. That, that's 91. That's mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. For, uh, for much, for very years, for travel <laughs> okay and the next one the next one is where do you want to travel to before you die <laughs> i want to travel um i would like to travel again um, la, in, la india uh india uh -huh. yes because i would like to know the taj mahal Ah, why? <laughs> I think it's a it's a beautiful. Um, I forget the dedication. You, uh, what does it mean dedication? Something to somebody. Yes, yes, I think that. Or, or what it represents. Yes, I would like to know what it represents, and I, I read I read about it, the history about the the, the monument. Uh huh. Yes, it's interesting. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and India has a lot of uh, interesting uh, places to visit. It's a beautiful country. Yes. Yes, it's a beautiful country, but I think that country has the a sad part because I think there are a, a lot of poverty. Yeah, and they still live by caste, so you know they they are very classy. Like okay, we the rich, you the poor, them the middle class. So they're very classy. They're very you know, they, they still believe in, in castes. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mochileros, how do you say mochilero, Francisco, in English? Backpackers. Backpackers? Yeah, backpackers. Oh, yeah. So, backpackers. Yes. It was, I think it is, is probably be super fun. <laughs> but it's too risky too, but I don't know. Yeah, you need to do research before to do the, the venture. Uh-huh. And and you were Irene, 
would you like to go traveling for a few years non-stop um, i like i i would like it or i like it okay maybe in my case i would i would like to travel uh, to panama <laughs> Yeah, ah, Panama. Mm -hmm. I didn't visit Panama. But probably was a very beautiful city. They say that it's, it's similar to Miami, but it's the little Miami here in, in, Central in Latin America. America or Central Inter America. Is it expensive, Mario? What? Uh, pardon? Is it expensive? Panama? I, I don't know. I don't know, but maybe yes. But I heard that they have the two currencies, the US dollar and Balboas. But uh, I heard about a few friends that they say that is a little expensive in Panama. But if you live there or you work in Panama, you have a very good salary. And mm -hmm. And maybe if you have the, the, the salary, of course, you can pay a lot of things in, in Panama. But but I don't know if it is is cheap or or expensive if you compare with other countries because I didn't uh, travel to, to Panama yet, but I don't know, maybe in the future. Costa Rica is expensive. Costa Rica is expensive. Yeah, they have a, a lot of taxes that they increase the the price, the, the cost or the price of the of everything. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One beer is almost two dollars in a, in a regular uh, liquor store, convenience store. It's almost two dollars. Oh, uh, I think more. Maybe five dollars. Yeah, maybe. Because because the cost for a beer is like uh, 1,000 pesos, no, uh, 2,000 pesos, uh -huh, 2,000 colones, uh -huh. but uh, yeah, and, and the, the currency right now is $595, no, colones to $1. $1, okay. Yes. Yeah, I was I was in Costa Rica in 2000, I don't know if it was, I think it was 2015, like five years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, obviously prices have increased. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, totally. Okay. Traveling by plane. So the travel is short. Um, Lin Yuta said, no one realizes how beautiful yeah, it is it. to travel until he comes home and rests his head on his own familiar pillow. <laughs> uh -huh. Let me read. No one realizes how beautiful it is traveling until he comes home and rests his head on his own familiar pillow. Are you agree or not? In my case, yes, I agree. Yes, um, me too. Uh, what does this mean? Teacher, can you explain what does mean the last? The uh, last... Number 10, the last question? Yes. Okay, it says, let me check this here. Too often travel, the mind, let me see this here. Um, instead of bringing the mind, merely lends the conversation. So in other words, traveling uh, does not make you any smarter, according to this person, you know. So it's a it's an expression that this person said for discussion. So what he's what she's saying is like, okay, you go travel, you go to Europe, South America, Africa, whatever, and apparently your when you mm -hmm. come back, your mind is exactly the same, but you will have more topics mm -hmm. to talk about. 
Got it? I, yes, I, I got it. Okay, so. I don't agree with, I don't agree with. With her? With she, yes. Uh-huh. Why yes, not? Because when, because I understand that he said, uh, don't matter at the place uh, where you visit because you don't have any, you didn't learn any interest about that place. Okay. But I think is, I, I think uh, when, for example, when I visit uh, a foreign country, I try to learn something about it. Right. Yes. True. But remember, at the beginning of the mm -hmm. quote, she says, too often travel. So that happens when you do it too frequent. So you do it so frequent that you're like, oh, you know, I can, uh, you know, you just go there, visit, but maybe you don't go for the cultural or the knowledge thing anymore. Maybe. Mm. Yep. Yes. Places. Many places from North Korea. It, it was very interesting. Yeah. Super interesting. Who yeah. went to North Korea? No, we, we, we saw a YouTuber, a Mexican YouTuber. Oh, that, okay. Hey, take a video so from his travel to, to North Korea. Uh -huh. For understanding why, why is North Korea is a, a very uh, difficult country to visit for the tourists and all the restrictions that they have, the, the government's restriction that they have. And it's like a YouTuber that uh, tried to to take uh, uh, the videos from these uh, uh, difficult trips or extreme traveling. Yeah, so. yeah it is extreme and it is also dangerous because they can uh -huh. easily put you in jail. Uh-huh. <laughs> Totally. <laughs> yeah, and they con now imagine if you're a free woman, a free man, apparently to what we see, you know, life is not easy. You know, yeah. the food is limited. Uh, all the material things that you have in your house, maybe they don't have it. Now imagine being in prison. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it must be like a real prison, you know? Yes, yes, totally. So anyways, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, before I forget, for the ones that incorporated um, a little bit late, uh, I have a Christmas uh, dinner, a Christmas party uh next thursday exactly a week from now and uh you know that's exactly the day that we finish the course so uh i spoke with my boss and i told him look i mean you know i explained the situation and i asked for a substitution and he said um i think it's better uh so your students can stay with you all the course to move next week's class next thursday's class for tomorrow. So uh, we're not going to have classes uh, next Thursday. We finish the training, uh, we finish the course on Wednesday, but we need to have classes tomorrow. Now, I understand that some of you guys uh, already have plans for Fridays and everything, but if you can come tomorrow, it, it would be good. Got it? Got it. Got it. Okay, good. All right, so let's um, let's move to another uh, exercise. Uh, we have a listening comprehension uh, questionnaire. I will dictate three questions only. The audio is less than a minute. So remember, if they speak fast, you have to write faster. You have to activate all your listening skills and be able to understand what they are saying. Okay, do you have pen and paper or a Word document? Yes. Okay, 
Question number one says, what's the woman's suggestion? Question number two, what is he concerned about? What is he concerned about? And question number three says, what does the professor suggest? What does the professor suggest? All right, can someone please dictate the first question for me? Mm -hmm. What's the woman's suggestion? Okay, what's the woman's suggestion? Thank you. Uh -huh. That is the first one. What is the second question? What is the concern about? Okay, thank you. What is he concerned about? What's he concerned about? And what is question number three? What does the professor suggest? Excellent, thank you. What does the professor suggest? What does the professor suggest? And there you have it. Are the questions clear? Yes. Okay. All right, let me share. Share computer sound. Share. I will put you guys on mute so we don't have any interruptions. And where's this audio? Let me try this one. Exercise L23, identifying the speaker's meaning. One. Sue, you know you missed the deadline, don't you? Yes, I know, but could I get my report in by early next week? Well, I'm not so concerned about deadlines as such. We all have setbacks from time to time. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm more concerned about your getting behind in general. I've seen students get so far behind behind that they can't catch up. If you can't keep up in this course, you're really wasting my time and your time and money. If that's the case, Sue, you should drop now while you can before it's too late to drop without penalties. Okay, one more time. Exercise L23, identifying the speaker's meaning. One, Sue, you know you missed the deadline, don't you? Yes, I know, but could I get my report in by early next week? Well, I'm not so concerned about deadlines as such. We all have setbacks from time to time. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm more concerned about your getting behind in general. I've seen students get so far behind that they can't catch up. If you can't keep up in this course, you're really wasting my time and your time and money. If that's the case, Sue, you should drop now while you can before it's too late to drop without penalties. Okay, do you guys have the answers? Or do you want to hear it once again? Please. Okay, here we go. Exercise L23, identifying the speaker's meaning. One. Sue, you know you missed the deadline, don't you? Yes, I know, but could I get my report in by early next week? Well, I'm not so concerned about deadlines as such. We all have setbacks from time to time. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm more concerned about your getting behind in general. I've seen students get so far behind that they can't catch up. If you can't keep up in this course, you're really wasting my time and your time and money. 
If that's the case, Sue, you should drop now while you can before it's too late to drop without penalties. Okay, what's the woman's suggestion? <clears throat> she could get her report the next week. Okay, yeah, give the report next week. Yes, how do you say entregar in English? Delivery. Okay, the deliver is like uh, when you go from one place to another, pero entregar, mire, aquí le entrego el, 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 el trabajo. How would you say give, that? Give you, yeah. give in. Hand in, hand, hand in, uh, hand in. So, uh, so after, imagine you're taking an exam and time is over. So the professor tells you, okay, please hand in your, uh, your, your exams, your tests, your papers. Give me a second, give me a second. Okay, what about the second concern? Did anybody get that uh, 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 answer? He's Whoop. getting behind in general. Exactly. Getting behind in general. Why is he concerned? Yeah, that's his main concern. He says, my main concern is that if you stay behind in general, but he gives an example of why he's concerned. He's so far behind that they can catch, catch up. Exactly. He says, I have seen students getting behind so far that, uh, that it's impossible for them to catch up. Now, when you go to university and let's say you're not doing that well, or let's say you're having problems with the schedule, what do you do? How do you say retirar materia? They mentioned that word. Drop. Drop, exactly. Drop. So you go to administration, it says, look, I'm here to drop uh, mathematics uh, or whatever subject, but you're here to drop it, right? And um, what does the professor suggest? Anybody? Stop no why you came before it's too late. One more time. Stop no why you came before it's too late. Okay, someone else. Someone else, someone else. Draw, uh, draw his, his mother because uh, he really wasting the time and money, I think. Right, but you know, he, his suggestion is drop now before it's too late to do it without pain. Do you understand that answer? Yes. Again, say it again, please. Uh, drop now before it's too late to do it without paying any penalties, without pain. So in El Salvador, if you say, look, uh, uh, my, my office schedule change, so uh, I need to drop a subject, you need to pay. The process is not for free, so you pay. But I guess in the conversation that the, the university where they are, uh, they don't need to pay anything. So that's why he says, I think you should drop now before it's too late before doing it without paying, right? Is it clear? You guys are quiet today. Why are you quiet? <laughs> yes. Has anybody told you anything? Mm. Okay, questions or comments? So if, if this question, if this audio would have been in a test, 
would you have been able to answer the, the three questions? Maybe two. Maybe mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. Which of the three questions do you consider the most difficult? The last one. The last one? Okay. When you were in the university, did you ever have to drop a subject? Never. Never. <laughs> okay, no. good. Did you ever flunk a subject? Flunk? Flunk, do you remember the meaning of the word flunk? No, I don't understand that. A placer. Yes. What? Flunk. Flunk is the opposite of pass. Flunk is the opposite of pass. Did you ever flunk a subject? Two subjects. <laughs> what is it? Two subjects. In my case, two, two subjects. subjects. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I flunked like three subjects. <laughs> in, in, in all my university studies, I flunked like three subjects. Right. What about the others? Did you ever flunk any subjects in the university? No. Never? So you mm -hmm. so you have a clean record? Yeah. Okay. Because I I only study not not no I don't I, I haven't been working working at that time. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because when you work and you study at the same time, oh, uh, the, 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 the mission the mission is more, mm -hmm. more difficult, right? Yes. True, true. Okay, any questions or comments, people? No? Okay, so if you don't have any questions, we're going to stop here. And um, remember, we have classes tomorrow. Okay. Got it? <laughs> okay, you guys have a good night. Good night. Good bye night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. bye.